Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Well, as you can see here, I've got a little bit of a video for uh, those of you that are um, looking to get a really good sharpener. Now, this is a really, really dodgy subject. I get asked this question all the time, especially for those that have got Prismacolor pencils and stuff like that, that are having issues with those uh, breaking all the time. Um, so I thought I would do this video um, on the top five sharpeners that I use. Now these aren't the top five sharpeners in the world or anything like that. Um, they're just the, the, the out of all the sharpeners that I've used and I've used a lot. Um, th these are the ones that I think are the best. Um, they give you the best uh, control and the best um, point whenever you are sharpening your pencil. And it just so happens that I have um, Five Dixon Ticonderoga pencils here that all need sharpening, they're all brand new, so we're going to use uh, these sharpeners right from the get go of the pencil. And also, um, one of these sharpeners also helps to sharpen uh, a clutch pencil, which it's a little bit like a mechanical pencil, but um, it has a slightly bigger uh, lead in it. Um, I, I love using these clutch pencils. Uh, there's a good weight on on it and stuff like that, but it, this isn't about pencils. So anyway, let's let's go through these uh, these sharpeners in no particular order. Um, let me move the ones out of the way that we're not talking about, and I'll bring in the one that we are. So this one here is uh, a Coom sharpener. Sharpener, sorry. Now this one gives it's a it's an incredibly long point that this uh, sharpener gives. As you can see here, let me just lift it up, there are two sharpeners inside but they both are used for the one pencil. It's not, you know the way sometimes you get those sharpeners and it's got um, a big a big circle and a little circle for different uh, diameters of pencil. That's not what this is. Uh, and also you see two little tiny sharpeners down here that's for the clutch pencil and I'm going to show you how they work as well in a second. So you close over your, oh there's something I'd never actually seen before, there's spur blades in there as well. How do you like that? Um, okay so close over the sharpener and as you can see here there are two slots for the pencils to go into. One is longer I know you're not going to be able to see that, but this one is longer than this one. So you put it in the, the long one first, okay? And these the blades on these are really, really sharp. And I if I'm not, I think I'm right in saying that the, this is a German uh, made sharpener. And I think most of these pencils, bar the, the Derwent Super Point, are German, which says something. Okay, so keep sharpening it away. Now when you finish sharpening with this long point, your pencil comes out looking like that. And it looks really, really odd and you think to yourself, my goodness, what am, how am I going to supposed to draw with that? But that's what the other section is for. So you put it in, and I suggest that you put it in really gently, not like you're going to do uh, ordinary sharpening, and just twist it as you would do normally. Because when it goes into the second one, it's more or less refining the, the, the point that you've just got. And there you go. You can see there yourself, it's got a really, really super fine point. Let me see if I can, it's not focusing in right. There we go. Okay, so you can see yourself there. It's got a really, really super fine point. So that's the, the comb. Now the other side of this was the, the clutch pencil. So just let me... So if you've got one of these clutch pencils, you have two little sections here. You've got a, uh, a white one and a red one. And they both give you different, uh, different types of points on your sharpener. You just put the, uh, the pencil in and twist it round. When you bring it back out, 
it's got like um, a smaller point if you know what I mean but with the white one when you put it into the white one it gives it a slightly longer point like the um, like the comb sharpener I was showing you and you can see there the difference in the points so that's the comb sharpener it's really really good sharpener I've used Prismacolors in this as well and they work really well the only the only problem is it gives you a really really super long fine point and Prismacolors as soon as you know unless you're really really being very very gentle which I'm not always it just snaps as soon as it hits the paper so the next one is uh, pro probably one of my favorites out of the lot it's this little M&R now this little sharpener I think I'm gonna have links down below for all of these and I'll have a written review over in the art gear guide as well but this one has two two slots in it for uh, different size different diameter pencils um, you can see it here and then there's the bigger one there but this sharpens incredibly well uh, and again this you know this is a German pencil so let me sharpen this the blades on this are really super sharp uh, and they get a fantastic point I think you know so long as you have a sharpener with the blades really sharp which is also going to mean that you have to um, change your blades occasionally um, because these blades do blunt but I actually heard um, a, a tip and I'm not 100% sure if it's true or not so somebody might be able to say down in the comment section whether it is but I heard a tip that if you're sharpening coloured pencils all the time and your um, your sharpener is getting a little bit dull to lift a, a graphite pencil and sharpen it and it will not necessarily sharpen it again but it revives it a little bit uh, and it's got something to do with the graphite basically cleaning the, the, the blade I'm not too sure but I heard that anyway so there it's uh, an M and, a, M and a R M and R sharpener you can see there And this is the uh, type of point that it delivers for you. So it is a little bit like the Coombe. Not quite as long. But a very, very good sharpener. Um, now the next one that I'm going to show you is the Derwent Super Point. Uh, this is a really excellent sharpener as well. Uh, it's got a little tray here down at the bottom where all your sharpenings go into. Um, you just pull this out and then the pencil goes in here you just push these and you can see there are the, the teeth move out of the way you put your pencil in you're good to go uh, and then when you wanna if you sometimes you can get a if the lead breaks it'll stick in here all you gotta do is take this thing out and the leads normally if, if that does happen it will stop sharpening but they're normally just down there and you just knock it out with a pencil and then you just put this back in it looks like a drill bit but um, it's a very very clever way of sharpening these pencils and you're good to go now the good thing about these um, these sharpeners is especially in the case of Prismacolor is as you can see you put your pencil in and it holds the pencil in place there's no twisting of the pencil which is one of the main causes of uh, breakage uh, with coloured pencils especially prism colours so you just twist your um, this handle around and it will stop it'll automatically stop sharpening when the pencil gets to the there you, there you go you see you can, you can hear it and you can feel that there's no resistance now so that means that the pencil is done and then there you go another well sharpened pencil now 
the next one, so that was the Derwent Super Point. The next one um, is probably my least favourite out of the five, but nevertheless, it's a, it's a nice little sharpener to have. Um, I'm not sure, I think, I'm not sure what the make of this is, but I picked this up um, off eBay one time. I just seen it and uh, I thought it was a, a nice looking little sharpener, but it's the, the shape of it that I liked and it's uh, it's very comfortable to hold in the hand, very small. Uh, so I would, I mean, if, for people that are out and about, you know, with your art supplies and stuff like that, I would say this is a, it's a, it's got a nice size to it, just to throw into your pencil case and and, uh, and go. Like I say, this is my least favourite out of the five, but out of all the other, and this is a cheap sharpener, the other ones that I've showed you are not necessarily very cheap, but the other sharpeners that I've used at this price point just didn't work at all after like a couple of weeks and now you can see the point isn't too bad but it's not exceptional um, like I said I'll leave links now this one is uh, a really really good pencil sharpener and I, uh, a friend of mine here on YouTube uh, Smoothie77 he, he introduced me to this and I had to go and get it because I thought it was fantastic uh, and the reason why it's just like the Derwent one in terms of you know you, it holds the pencil you put it in um, it has the little uh, drawer where it collects all the clippings but here's where the really really clever part is if you can see here just there you've got a long point and just here you've got a short point and you can determine which how long you want your pencil to be, the core of the pencil, by just twisting this, this little silver knob, to whatever direction you want it to go. Now it's not this part, it's just this little silver part here, and that will dictate. So I'm going to put it to the shortest setting, first of all, and show you what it does. This, by the way, is, as you can see, an M&R pencil sharpener again. It's a, again, it's another German make. Um, same as the, 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 the little brass one that I showed you uh, by the same company. And incidentally, that little brass one that I showed you, these are the uh, spur leads, or spur um, blades that you can get. And they're, I think, are about $1.99. Uh, and you get about 7 or 8 in there, I think it is. Uh, but they're excellent. And they'll last you a while. So you put your pencil in, and don't forget, I've got it set where it's going to give me a uh, a small point. And this is where this pencil sharpener is fantastic for Prismacolors because I find the Prismacolor pencils, um, if you keep the if you keep the the core small but sharp, if you understand what I mean, um, you know the way when you get the Prismacolors when you first get them, they have that little tiny point on them. I think if you sharpen it like that, it works best. Okay, so that's ready. And there you go. So that, that I know this isn't like a point per se, but that's the, the shortest set. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it round halfway. Do it again. Again, as with the Dermot one, when this, when it finishes, it will just stop. And there you go. So it's gone a little bit further. And now we'll take it all the way round to its sharpest point to give you the, the sharpest point. You can see yourself there that it's, the little silver thing comes further out. So... pencil back in there you go at its sharpest point very very good pencil sharpener it just gives you a little bit extra control over what type of uh, sharpener or sharpened pencil that you're after 
I think that would be good actually for burnishers because you know when when you're using a burnisher, if you've got like a really fine point on it, the way you would do with a pencil, it um it snaps and you lose a little bit of it. Um, the burnisher and blenders. So I think this pencil sharpener is really good for that type of thing. I've not used it on one yet, like, but um, really really good sharpener. So that's it, guys. Uh, the five sharpeners that I've shown you here today is the um. You see the Coombe pencil sharpener, long point, gives you a very excellent fine point. MR, little brass, very, very weighty. There's a lot of weight to this. Um, wouldn't like to get hit in the head with that. Uh, but the, the, the blades on this are incredibly sharp, and the, um, the replacement blades are very cheap, and again, they're very, very sharp. Then the, uh, the Derwin Super Point, excellent sharpener. Um, I think this is uh, about uh, 12 or 15 pounds on Amazon. Like I said, I'll have links down below and over on the uh, Art Gear Guide as well. Uh, excellent sharpener, that really, really nice, deep, big, deep um, tray for collecting the bits. This little um, generic sharpener, but it's done me really well and it sharpens really well as, uh, as well. So. Um, I think, oh there it is, there, mapped it's called, but it's a nice sharpener. And then this one here, uh, the M&R, another M&R brand, this one's excellent because it gives you, like I say, the, the extra fine control. Anyway guys, that's it, that's the sharpeners uh, that I most use and between these five sharpeners they have done me incredibly well with all types of pencils, whether it's watercolour pencils, pastel pencils, uh, Caran d'Ache pencils, it eh, eh, doesn't matter which pencil it is, I've never had any problems or issues with any of these sharpeners. I mean of course you'll put a pencil into one sharpener and it probably won't work as well as it would do in another one. That's why it's not necessarily necessary to have a couple of sharpeners, but it's a good idea. Anyway guys, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope this video has been of some help to you. If it has, please like and share the video get it out to the other people that might um, might benefit from it and um, don't forget you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram all that good stuff uh, links for that will all be down below or if you like you can go across to the written review of this uh, over in the art gear guide and the links for all my social networking platforms will, will be over there as well anyway guys thank you so much for joining me today look forward to seeing you again next time bye